Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Tumbleweed created by Bailey. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alright, this was sent in by one of our Discord builders and Diamond Patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Bailey. And here they say, Hello Johnny, let me introduce you to the wildest ride in the West. With this thrilling coaster, you will get to experience what it's really like to roll around like a tumbleweed. <laughs> This coaster took me longer than expected due to getting the correct shape on the custom loop as the game doesn't allow the monster wooden track to invert properly. However, after fighting with the game mechanics, I finally got the shape right. Hope you enjoy this submission. Uh, the game doesn't allow you to invert wooden coasters ever. <laughs> so how you pulled that off is quite impressive. Let's find out. All right, everybody, here we are at the Tumbleweed. And as you can see here, the coaster is doing an inversion. So there is a new feature in the game that allows you to kind of remove the restrictions. Um, and that's how you can get a wooden coaster to do an inversion like that. What's interesting is he's also put a corkscrew over top to kind of give it that, I don't know, I don't know natural look. But you lined it up so well. That looks so good. It's like wooden steel <laughs> RMC hybrid, but way freaking cooler. Holy moly. Uh, I love this build already just because of that. I mean, one inversion on a wooden coaster is freaking awesome. Would have liked to see it a little bit bigger, con considering how much uh, speed we're getting off that lift. But I can understand the frustration you were having building that. But look how cool that looks. My goodness. Definitely bringing something unique to the Western builds here. Probably should have put this on a Western map. My bad. Uh, <laughs> a little rusty at this, guys. And didn't think this one through. <laughs> Keep on rolling like a tumbleweed, everybody. Or just moving on. Sawmill. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Splitting the log there. All right, let's uh, take you guys through the queue and check out the stats on this thing and give it a ride. We have the law office and general store, town hall. We have the quaint, cozy western town here. Uh, queue and setup was all really easy, quite intuitive. I mean, solid job with this blueprint setup to um, finalization. I think it's going to work really well in any western park. So let's look at the stats here. We got a 5.44 excitement, 3.32 fear, and a 0.56 nausea. There's the rest of the results, and let's give this a go.
All right, absolutely great work on this one. Bailey definitely doesn't feel like a generic Western Coaster 73. You did something very unique here. And I have to say, while we're looking at it at nighttime, I really like the nighttime lighting here. It's subtle, it's not too much. And thank God you didn't decide to make the orange rocks glow. I do not understand the fascination of uh, why people do that. <laughs> I think the lighting is just right, uh, as well as on the sign here, Tumbleweed. Now, the inversion on the wooden coaster. I wish more people would do this. This is so freaking cool. That definitely is the selling point here. I think it would have been cool to see you push that one more time somewhere else. Maybe a, uh, a corkscrew or something coming through here. I don't know. Just one more crazy trick that the wooden coaster should not be doing. But that's just me getting greedy. <laughs> I think what you did here was enough, and the coaster itself, the wooden coaster, was a great design. And your aesthetics, um, you got all the touches, like the scaffold around the back holding the rocks in. I, I quite like that. Um, yeah, it, it, it does add a sense of realism there. Your set dressing, your set building, even the river rapids going down here with the little bridge going across. There's so many really great details here that make it stand out as a very top-notch top, top -notch, uh, wooden western coaster. And I really love the selling feature of this one. It definitely brings something unique. Uh, even, even something as subtle as this, it's taking that innovation to the next level. Something we haven't seen before. And this far into the game, with this many spotlights and this many creations seen, it does take some sort of selling feature to stand out from the rest. And when I picked this coaster, I didn't realize it had this inversion until I started doing the video. So I was like, oh wow, that makes it even better. Um, so you had my attention with the design the way it is, and I think it's a, it's a great western coaster, but your little touches of realism here, um, all, all throughout, make it, you know, good storytelling. Um, it's a good experience through and through, and I definitely love that selling feature. I want to see more people push the boundaries and bring new things to old coasters, and I always love seeing that. So I don't really have any more feedback for you other than my little greedy remark saying I would like to see the coaster do one more thing. Yeah, and, and in terms of it hugging the rocks the way it did, I thought that was brilliant and the scaffolding, and you did something unique with it. So no feedback for you. I'm praising the crap out of this one. I love it. I think it's a great looking uh, coaster. It has, it has a great composition from multiple different angles. For my thumbnail, it's hard to get a screenshot of this saying Tumbleweed, as it's blocking your selling point there and in terms of the you know the initial thumbnail there it's not the best composition or layout but i think once placed into a park it's going to look good and because it, it does look good from all angles it looks interesting but for me the real selling point this this should you know to me looks like uh it could have been in the forefront i would have liked to see maybe the entrance and sign here or something so that feature it, uh is front and center but that's pretty nitpicky i think the layout is great the footprint is great and it's going to look great in any park so really well done there bailey and that's going to do it on this episode of coaster spotlight everyone if you enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and if you'd like to support the show to keep it going you could do so by becoming a patron links are down in the description below as well as if you want to download and rate this coaster all right everyone thank you so much for watching hope you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye now